Evening all, welcome to the Titanfall. Yeah, all right, all right. I know it's a crap one, but let me just give me, give me it. Just give me this. Anyway, let me show you some more of the game. Um, what I haven't been showing you is like all of the stats as well. If you are a stat mad person, then uh, you are going to love this game as well because it shows you all of your information to do with distance run, type of matches run, weapon kills, bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. So um, we'll look at that maybe uh, at the end of this one or in the next video. But um, there is a huge amount of kind of stuff in this game as well in terms of keeping stats which I think is quite a nice thing I guess that's again very battlefield like post in the comments if that's right or not but um, it does feel that that is perhaps one of the things that people are um, doing or rather liking in the game um, so we go this is uh, me again unfortunately it's the same map observant among you will probably have caught on that there's actually only two maps in the beta but hey what are you gonna do um, I still wanted to keep kind of talking about this game because hey this is a game I am anticipated anticipating with glee and uh, let's talk about this this in a particular factor because that as you can see look above you as you see we're in kind of a, a villagey kind of village city village town town village thing that at the moment is looking um very picturesque but run down so let's say this is like some you know economically affected village <laughs> um that's been completely kind of torn apart by war now what you can't really see because again i'm kind of running around like a complete oh, dick no. is that the, there is a huge amount of kind of um battle going on around us as well so i don't know if you can kind of see that um as i chase some dude here um what's effectively going on above us is the and i think the way this game is going to work is that there is a constant sort of battle going on but it's not a front there's no two there's no fronts between these battles because the the two kind of contributing parties are the IMC, which appear to be kind of like the Whalen Utani kind of corp, and the militia. And the militia are obviously, by their just very name being called militia, denote that that is some form of uh, you know oppressed underclass minority you know planetoid group who are now basically rebelling against the IMC. So I, I get the opinion that's kind of the plan. Now, what you can't see is obviously these two, two groups are warring to a degree where they warp into a particular planet. And look, you can see all the ships above. I don't know if you can see in the distance if I stop moving around like a twat. Um, you can see there's huge numbers of ships that just literally warp into the planet and then drop their people. They start fighting, they capture or they fight or they lose. And that's where your Titans are coming from, just to be clear. So they're not just literally you know, warping out the sky. You're sh there is a ship above you with literally your Titans. As a, There's a manufactory uh, ship above you that is building these things, dropping them in when the pilots are ready, you know, when they're ready. That's the cool thing about this. Let's not forget that. So, um, and what effectively that means is that you then have kind of a huge fleet in orbit that eventually also gets fought and killed and, and such. So there could well be sort of modules and, and things in the game that actually attack these ships in orbit as well. And when I say orbit, they're actually right in the atmosphere. They're like they're probably a couple of hundred foot above us, fighting and dying and there's fighters whizzing past, there's ships broadsiding each other. Look at that huge ship above us there. Great stuff. And and it's just like, oh my god, this is good. I'm just so blown away by this already. Um, and uh, I can't like just imagine what the story is going to be between these kind of uh, these these warring factions because already that's a nice story. That's a very topical story as well because given what's going on in the world at the moment with obviously rebellion pretty much across parts of the world, this is quite a, a topical discussion indeed. Um, and I think really, oh, here we go. Look at this. Called in my Titan. It actually warps in like a missile. Oh, I see. I love it and I think then you know you fight you kill you die and then you respawn and you get your, your next Titan in it's all very tangible I like that now I haven't they haven't talked if you're actually respawning I imagine you are which is kind of a sucky mechanic I never quite like that I always wanted a game that had the balls just to say no every time you die that's a new person so literally millions of people are dying in this war I always wanted that I always thought that made perfect sense to have um, that kind of thing. Uh, this isn't going well. I think it's something explodes behind me. Ew, not looking good. Oh no, no, did I get him? Yep, no, no, yep, he's dead. Got ya. Um, and I think that's got to be one of the prevailing th feelings of this game is that there is pretty much you know a universe in disorder then the technology of this is quite advanced obviously the warp technology is one of the key things that's a nice one whenever they whenever a game or a sci-fi thing look at that look at that 
whenever a, isn't it just amazing that's real sci-fi porn right there um, whenever a game or book or something like that tries to deal with the the, the reality is of the you know the different distance between stars is so vast it would be impossible to to actually travel with all of the you know, knowing science we have at the moment um, is pretty much impossible. Whereas the, the, the quote warp technology is just a nice catch all to say, yes, we can move between the stars with ease. So that, that's really what it means. So obviously that has some part to play with this game because there is obviously a confederacy of planets or something like that, or maybe it's a whole empire, I don't know. Um, but they're fighting over these planets um, for some reason or another. So, you know, the backstory already is, is, is just shaping up. It really is. I can't tell you how much already. I'm quite surprised how amazing it is. Um, I think the everything about this game as well has been very well done so far as well. So the way they've released it, the communications between the people, I think they've done quite an exceptional job. And I think the last few bits of this are going to be what do they do, you know, kind of with... Um, I think with the release so oh god that's going over oh my god I just jumped off the flipping oh well there you go <laughs> just to escape nuclear death I actually jump off the plant <laughs> jump off the <laughs> jump off the map oh well so I think the the reality of this game is going to be something quite different do you know what I mean and I think people already are quite surprised how many videos I'm doing for it which is you know I mean again you know I had somebody say that I'm, I'm giving more time to these videos than I am to dust and that's not fair where does my allegiance lie well my allegiance lies with what entertains me I have no I'm, I'm partisan in this I have no allegiance to anybody and there's no there's no point saying um you know that you know i'm not going to do the old battlefield cod thing where people are like well i play battlefield therefore i could never play a cod game no i'm not like that i'd rather just play a game that i enjoy don't really care what it is um and i i enjoy dust and i enjoy this as well so you know i'm sure i'm sure i'm going to enjoy both games for many many you know uh, years to come and i think there's no issue um thinking like that either so, as it stands, I think what they're going to release here, I think, is going to be quite an exceptional game. It does feel there's going to there's going to be quite a lot of content on release as well. I'm already quite excited to think that um, there's going to be a lot of great stuff coming through with this particular game um, as well as it develops. So, you know, not only is it a complete product now, but it could well, you know, continue to be developed and, and pushed with the game, you know, with the kind of feedback of the community. So already that's quite exciting um i think it's going to be tricky to see how um this kind of shake uh, shapes up with things like battlefield 4 etc um but i would hope that maybe people who play battlefield 4 are not, who are rather disgruntled with it because let's face it it feels like again i don't understand the whole battlefield 4 issue that much because i guess i don't really understand that game a great deal i like it i enjoyed playing it um, but it can't have been that good because it didn't grip me. I was completely smegging ungripped, as Dave Lister would say. And that's the truth. I didn't really understand, like, wh what the big deal with it was. I know that's, that's terrible to say that. But, you know, I, I remember people going on about Battlefield 3, etc., etc. And I think I got that. I kind of understood that this was something quite special. Um, but with Battlefield 4, I didn't see it. And I know that obviously it had lots of problems. Again, I didn't really see that. Either. I didn't really understand it. Um, but it does feel that this game is going to be something entirely different. And I think that's quite a nice feeling. It does feel like it's coming unburdened with baggage into um, the gaming market. And I, I kind of I, I rate that. I like people who try something different. Look, it's already got achievements. It's got cheeves already. You can do your cheeves. Look at that. I even got the brain surgeon one, I'm proud to say. But I think, you know, again, they've already thought about what achievements they could do. So, loving it. Hope you are enjoying it too. And I think I can't wait for March 11th to come. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. <laughs>